What's good, life gainers? All knowing, all loving, all feeling, all seeing, all powerful, just damn all everything. Sex is hell host of the Life Gains channel, Lamont Tyson. Stream it or theater beam it. We're talking the marriage between Sony and Marvel with Spider-Man Homecoming. And I gotta say, as an avid fan of all aspects of a movie, to me, this was the best Spider-Man ever done. The numbers reflect it, but guys, we know that the numbers don't mean anything. As of right now, this is the third highest grossing movie of 2017, and it is Sony's second highest grossing movie, only trailing the third Spider-Man that was made in terms of Sony's revenue and income. And this particular movie is kind of polarizing because the critics love it. And if you know anything about critics, critics love movies that have a rich contextual storyline. It's not about action with them, which that kind of leads you into where I'm gonna tell you how this movie went. And this particular movie in terms of diversity, King, Disney owns Marvel and they did an amazing job of bringing diversity to this movie. I really, really enjoyed that. But let's talk about who's gonna love this movie and who's not gonna like this movie. First of all, let's go ahead and get this out the way. My old school heads, my people that love action, you might as well just wait and stream this shit when a good copy comes out later on when the DVD comes out. You ain't gonna like it. It's not gonna be the movie for you. Let's talk about who is gonna like it. My comic book nerds, my people that have enjoyed every single one of the Marvel movies that have been made, my millennials and young people, you're really gonna love this movie. Tom Holland is your Spider-Man and your Peter Parker. Now let's summarize what went down in this movie. I am a guy who normally bashes movies that don't have a lot of action and they have subpar villains and I initially was very afraid of this Vulcan. I mean, I really was just like, man, Vulcan, come on, man. Like, can we get a good villain finally? But the first five minutes of this movie gives you contextual story background as to why Vulcan has gone the way he's gone. And he's actually pretty evil. And of course, it's the good old story of American capitalism that has flipped this guy into being the menacing maniac that he becomes. That's the first five minutes of the movie. Now, as you start getting into the movie, it doesn't have a lot of action. I'm gonna go ahead and warn you. If you're a lover of action, you might not be happy. But if you're someone who likes action and contextual richness in a movie in terms of a good story, then this is gonna be a great movie for you as well. The, the context of this movie is really good. And the thing that Marvel did was connect the Avengers with this movie and set this movie up for a future Spider-Man franchise all to itself. Now, if you haven't seen Captain America Civil War, I would definitely encourage you to go back and watch that before you go see this because you can kind of see the Easter eggs of how these movies connect. And because I'm a person who does like contextual stories, I enjoyed the movie from start to finish. There is a post credit scene that you guys might want to stick around and see where they're introducing another character that's going to be in Spider-Man's universe. And throughout the movie, a lot of the plot was done based on the fight that happened in the Avengers movie and the adversary is using that type of alien tech to power his equipment and be as menacing as he was in this movie. Very, very well done in terms of understanding what's going on behind the mind of the villain in this movie because he was just an average ordinary guy trying to make it and then he just caught a bad note in American capitalism. And the movie has some historical references in terms of slavery that made me chuckle. But I also got to say, I sat beside some people that thought they was movie investigators and kept talking throughout the movie. And I finally got mad and started flashing my cell phone light on them to get them to shut up because I just like, I don't want to hear what you think is about to happen. Just shut the hell up. But overall, I would give this movie for my life gainers that like the things I just mentioned. This movie is going to definitely get an 8.5 for me, but for those old school heads I mentioned and those that like action and adventure and that type of thing, it's not going to do well for you. You probably would give this movie a 6 and you're not going to want to stream it. I mean, uh, go to the theater and beam it. You're going to want to stream it. But the other group, 
definitely go theater beam this movie. If you've already seen it, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you're contemplating seeing it, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And we're going to keep this thing going, ladies and gentlemen. Excellent movie. I love Tom Holland. To me, he's the best Spider-Man that has done it. And the numbers are rolling in. And we'll see what happens with this movie. That's going to do it for this Stream It or Theater Beam It review. Don't forget to like my video. Leave me a comment on your thoughts on Spider-Man. Oh, let me say one more thing. The previews for this movie, and I'm a guy who normally hates the previews, but the previews for this movie was off the chain. Thor, Black Panther, Vol um, Valkyrie, whatever the hell the movie was. It was a great array of movies, trailers to see before the movie actually got started. So that on its own is worth the ticket for a matinee. Until the next Sex is Hell stream it or theater beam it, I'll see you. If you enjoy the content on my channel, please take your cursor, click the subscribe button. If you want to receive an alert every time I drop a new video, click the little bell. And if you want to connect with me on Facebook, you can click this button. If you want to connect with me on my other social media, I got a button for you here, a button for you here. And if you're one of those people that want to make a donation, donations can be made through my Patreon account by going to www.patreon.com forward slash life gains. You can also get private videos done. This is how you can support my channel. Just click here and become a Patreon and you will continue to get great content by Life Gains.